moving towards something and being pulled through the illusion. This world is essentially nothingness with and without its illusions. It is also not entirely stable. Of course, I still have my logic because I am from the physical earth. I will journey the illusion. Is there why must I journey the illusion? If all it is, is a transition of insignificant symbols to my own reality. It's but also wait. not entirely stable. Everything here is course, a symbol still of my own reality. So the logic symbols I see physical earth, but what point is there significant in the illusion? The omniscient is, is a must have knocked me into exploring my and destroyed wait. my last incorrect Everything here is speculation my about the reality. mandatory so, the existence of logic won't be in the physical. I'm still, still in the transitional phase of the death, though. So these illusions must have been simultaneously sub subconsciously and created by myself in an attempt to explain the almost unimaginable I'm afterlife. Still in the phase of death, after so these illusions must have been simultaneously subconsciously created by myself in an attempt to explain the Almost unimaginable afterlife. Unimaginable. Of course, I, it's the opposite of what I'm seeing now. <laughs> I feel that I'm almost there and have almost reached the secret. But my own physically connected logic is standing in the way of the transition. Perhaps I will prove this last wrong speculation wrong and then go... But if I do so, then I will have used logic. And that cannot be done. Emotions, as I had said before, are the infinite. But how will I ever be able to exist in the infinite world with confinements of reason? I am echoing around in circles, which means my logic has become insignificant, and I might as well... Let the, let thrill, the thrill of the journey, of the journey be, the be the growing, the growing emotion, emotion to fill, to the, fill void the void of my logic. The void of my logic. Maybe there's a way in existing in pure emotion without the physical. Just the absence of the physical need alone has been enough to compel me to discover more. robustly guards the gate of deception and the gate of knowledge is locked. The door to the illusion is infinite. Bright yellow light tries to escape through the segmented shades of the window of love. The love light being too blinding, I go for the infinite illusion.
textured clouds of light blue and purple line up a path to follow. I come to a city. Conceptual here. Contradicted logic, the king's illusions, the society based on playfulness, the fun and trivialities, I decided to check this out. I follow the scene in. them it's that way. Whatever I say, they accept. That's what the illusion is. It's the logic that I put out. Put it out in the papers. Let everybody know it's that way. Tell them it's that way. Whatever I say, they accept. That's what the illusion is. It's the logic that I put out. And it's mine, and it's theirs, and it's whatever it is and to any given week. Nothing stands to reason. <laughs> Yes, Master Cruz. They worship the sea nymph, but little do the frolicking citizens know. The sea nymphs follow reason, and reason is an illusion here, as I am coming to believe, because it is dictated by the gnome king. Jim. 
I've learned that lo well, I've learned that logic that stands alone is nothing without an acceptance of it by the people. With an acceptance by the people, though, it becomes society, a working product of logic, which can turn into a machine-like society that I ran into, which can be very chaotic. Without logic, though, everyone would be barbaric, like the ancient times. That's true, it was completely based on love, but it also wasn't functioning very well. With a collective effort of the people, though, there... With a collective effort of the people, though, there is a lot more productivity than without. But couldn't a collective effort of the people consist without logic if the physical didn't exist? That's what I'm learning. With no physical confinements and no need for logic to utilize the physical confinements, it would be a world of never-ending happiness. What else is there? to see and new problems to solve. Without the physical to take apart by reason, my purpose wouldn't exist. I've been looking for an answer and finding it many to physical problems, which is about all I know, but the only answer to this journey is acceptance, and I seem to only gain acceptance with what holds truth to myself. So I contain my own limits by which I can accept. So how can I exist in the infinite? In the infinite, everything would be constantly new, so I would be occupied enough to be content forever with my journey. So I guess heaven is how I see it, and that would be heaven for me. Oh, <laughs> 